Hi Leute. Hallo ihr Lieben. <lacht> Wie are we? 37. We are week 37. Maybe we've lost it already. Um, yeah. What happened this week? We prepared a lot this week. Mm -hmm. um, we, both of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the grocery store, started to cook and freeze some food. We are currently grocery shopping. This is me getting out of the house once a week. As you can see, it's very intense. Do you feel safe with the gloves on? Yes. So you have it, folks. We packed the hospital bag um, for Ella and for the baby. Mm, what else did we do? Went to the zoo. This is either the smartest thing we're going to be doing what are we going to go see? We're going to see tigers. She's really excited about the white tigers. And I'm really excited about the elephants too. <laughs> 37, almost 37 weeks pregnant. It's going to be 39 degrees. Either the smartest decision or stupidest we've done. <laughs> I always get my fuzzy and show the book. Do you know what it says in English? No. Baba. Look, I don't want to sleep. <laughs> I am now walking in to my daily gym session. I try to go six times a week, three times a week cardio, and then some weights. I love it. Oof. Yeah, that sums it up. It's only been a week. Yeah, kept reading the baby books, starting to ask really interesting questions that you never think about, like um, breastfeeding or how does it work and best breast pump and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we talk a lot about how we want to, yeah, educate him, how we want to um, handle different situations. Um, a lot of good talks we had this week mm -hmm. about this and yeah, we're trying to prepare as best as possible. Well, many of Bach's teammates are off to Ibiza in the south of Spain. And where are we going? To Bebopolis. <laughs> and what's Bebopolis? The baby shop. <laughs> What are we looking for? I think we could just put my laundry basket. Look at these! Uh -oh. This could be a problem. Pops! Look at these shoes. Okay, he's a boy. So give in to me. Pops. <laughs> Look. Let's test your German style for our son compared to American. Thank God we have Zod and P. Mary and Carl for European. What happens this? You pick an outfit and I pick an outfit. This is what you should pick. <laughs> Look at this handsome little man. <laughs> okay, you have five minutes to choose your outfit. I choose mine. I need longer. Oh, good. Okay, show us your outfit. I have two actually. These ones? That's not part of the rules. Go. Okay, fine. And this. Nice little basic shirt. Okay, now you show me. Okay, folks, you guys choose the winners. <laughs> or you 
still cute pants, but three to six months still tucked in shirt. I win. We spoke about a lot this week. That uh, uh, yeah, that every day could be our last day as um, yeah. Uh, a single couple and that's uh, yeah a really like interesting thought um, so but it's super super exciting and I'm looking forward to get to know this little boy here we hope he comes out more like Bob than me yeah. yeah and the thing is like I also thought about um, this week a lot you know you always say like okay you have eight months to prepare okay then later you think like okay you have still six months to prepare it's fine and then in quarantine, and we thought like, yeah, still, we, we go to Germany and after we come back, we still have two months to prepare. And now we're sitting here together and in week 37. And it's, yeah, technical, yeah, 20 days left to the official night. So it's extra what? <laughs> About week 36 and now officially in week 37, which means he is as big as a honeydew melon, no bigger. And I feel like the alien is moving from side to side. And I can successfully do this. Wait. Hold on. That's pretty good for belly. Daily life problems. So, um, to finish up this week 36, it is a Friday night, the 31st, and I'm about to go to bed. Um, it's around 11 p.m. And I think throughout this pregnancy, this is the hardest part because as of now, or for the last three or four weeks, I have not been getting more than I think two hours at a time, just because they come from my left side, then my right side, then he wants to have a dance party um, at one, two, three, four in the morning. So, um, I'm excited to actually see how many times I get up if if I show it and note it actually and take track. Um, but this for me is is hard. So we'll see how it goes in the morning. Good news, um, it's 2.30 now. So almost got two hours or two hour stretch. Um, this little guy's having a dance party. So I had to go to the bathroom. Um, don't worry, Bob's actually sleeps through all of this. She, when she's out, she's out. So now I'm gonna try to get off the sofa, back into the bedroom, get comfortable and get another little two hour stretch. Fingers crossed. So it is 11 o'clock. or when a baby comes. Famous last words, just being comfortable. That's the hardest part. I just can't get comfortable. He likes to move and then the dogs and I'm a light sleeper, so hopefully one more bathroom come back and then maybe I can sleep until six or seven. Cheers, folks. Anyone have any advice? <laughs> Like, what do you most nervous about? The first one thing. Um, actually, I'm not really nervous. I'm more excited. And of course, yeah, you're nervous to do something wrong, but or I'm nervous to do something wrong, but yeah, we did our job, I think. We are prepared. So um, everything was coming now. It's like that you cannot be prepared for, so. The motherly instincts will take over. Exactly. Or we hope mm -hmm. and pray. <laughs> I think I'm most nervous that he's coming out of me, which is still very hard to, let's put it blunt. It's very hard for me to imagine that this little boy in my stomach is coming out. We'll leave it like that because scientifically it still doesn't seem possible, even though I've been growing him in my stomach for the last nine months. So cheers to that journey and that change forever. <laughs>